I don't know. I wish I got here a little sooner. I mean, hell, they probably you know, you know, no way I could have got here before, but I mean, you know. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Uh -huh. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So... You want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, no. but we're very desperate. No, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. 
How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Mm. I did not mean to that. Oh, Joshua, that makes sense. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Uh, sorry I didn't make it when last you wrote. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else. I'll go but, ask someone else. But I'm the best guy him. you know at frightening these <laughs> people. <laughs> hmm. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? <sighs> Please. You came all this way. It would really mean a lot. Oh, come on. Do it for me, not him. Fuck. So you will? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up mm -hmm. to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. Oh, shit. He's been Sarcasm's gambling, drinking, and other things. Oh, the 
filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But. But, but. Well. Oh, I like but. Oh, like I don't know. Oh, y'all wanna fuck? Oh, damn. But, but. But, then. 26. Damn. Oh, my God. So, so what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually <laughs> falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Oh, wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, <laughs> he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Down here. He went around the corner. Don't lose sight of him. My only do this little owl. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Arthur, drop back a bit or we'll just see follow you. the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, <laughs> quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing, insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. Could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Mm -hmm. 
No, put that down, Arthur. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. Yeah. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. <laughs> You'll probably kill someone. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. You don't know what shit. Let's fuck up. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. How the hell would you just speak? No, get towards me first, you moron. Dumb. Hey! Stop that coach! Is this moron who's gonna move, or? I guess this is the family dumb horse. The marvelous dumbass family horse. Oh, fucking idiot. I don't know who I just killed inside. I don't know if I was in freaking in there. The, oh, I was. Oh, he was in there. Oh. Oh, that's funny. Was there was ever a Red Dead Redemption free? Of young Arthur, young Hosea, and young Dutch, and others. That'd be quite fun. Hey! Stop that coach! Get 
Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. How? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, hell, alligator should eat it. Two dollars ten cents. She can't do. You know, for a person, I bought a big money brooch. Not no five dollars ten. Crazy.
Bob, I hope this crash. Stay here, boy. Where's your father? I don't know. Find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. Yeah. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hmm. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. That's a very good idea. Sure. I understand. You're still walking me to the trolley, though. Of course. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. <laughs> Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. I feel like that was more of a point, honestly. Hey, partner. 
What you think you're doing? Out of there. All right, easy now. Hey there. Hey, mister. Hey, hey partner. Mister? Ah. Good to see someone who ain't afraid of hard work. Hey, mister. Hey there, mister. Hey there! Yeah. Hey there, hey. mister! What's your damn problem? Hey, partner! Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man? Peace, there's someone here. Arms for the blind. Oh, whoever's there, thank you. Truly, thank you for your kindness. Oh, oh thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Okay, fella. Mister. You have to Hi there, mister. Hey, mister. <laughs> 